got a little thing here. Can I pull this out? I have marshmallows and I have Oreos. Marshmallows and Oreos. Now, those of you who know, this is a temptation way beyond. My wife has made me swear off Oreos. So, what is this about? Back in 1968, a psychologist named Walter Miskell uh, was a professor at Stanford University. And he wanted to do a test and wanted to teach his uh, students how to do analysis and do these uh, analytical tests. So he went to his daughter's preschool, kindergarten, the Bing Academy at Stanford University, and asked the teachers, could they do a test where they would put some marshmallows in front of a student who was five years old, or some Oreos in front of a student, or some candy. There was a third bowl. Whichever the student, the little five-year-old like, they would say, which do you like? Do you like marshmallows, Oreos, or candies? And the kid would say which one, and so they would put him or her in a room, a five-year-old with a college student, and the college student would say this. Here's a couple of marshmallows. If you wait 20 minutes, we'll double the amount of marshmallows. You can eat the marshmallows now, or if you wait 20 minutes, you will get double the amount of marshmallows. And that began this incredible videoing, and back then I guess it was with cameras, not videos, but cameras, of picturing boys and girls, five and six years old, trying to wait 20 minutes. (laughs) And the fact that they would do everything not to eat it, but you guess what? Most ate it. But for those that waited, they were given double the amount Whatever they were given to, it became four. One became two, you know, different ones. And they had all these college students administer this test. Well, after it was over, everybody loved it. The parents loved it. The, uh, the kindergarten teachers loved it. Dr. Miskell loved it. The students loved it. So they said, let's do it again. So they did it over a period of four years to 550 students. And they recorded everything. And so all these college students would come in, and they would do this and did it 550 times. End of story. Fifteen years later, Dr. Miskell's daughter is now in college, and she says to her dad, Dad, I wonder what happened to the 550 students that took this test back when they were five and six years old. So he contacted as many as he could contact, hundreds of them. And he asked them a series of questions. These are now college students who took the test. And he separated the groups only in this thing. Group one were all those who ate. Group two, all those who waited. That was the only thing he did. And what was interesting was those who waited scored 210 points higher on their SAT scores. Those who waited were not obese. Those who waited didn't take drugs in high school or or early college. Those who waited didn't have stress. Those who waited, and it went on and on and on. All the natural things that you test people for, for normal behavior. And then he did it over here, and there was addiction. There was dropout rates. There was obesity. There was unhealth, all these things. So end of story. 20 years later, he decides to test them again. This was two years ago. They're now in their midlife. I wonder where these people are in their midlife. Let's hold that thought. 